Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to a new video. And for this video, I wanted to show you guys why I believe the military locker is one of the best storage items that you can have in your base. And also, how to maximize the amount of storage that you can have in your military locker with the way that you store certain items in the locker itself. So, I don't know if people know this, I'm sure people will already know by now, but um, the military locker is the only storage solution where you can store a bag with items in it because it sits on a shelf. So it's not really an exploit, it's just utilizing that feature of the military locker itself to maximize the amount of storage that you have. So a military crate has 500 storage, um, as you can see up here. Big can get a little bit messy because you gotta, you know, scroll through and you gotta uh, arrange a few things in there and figure out, you know, how you want to easily access your loot. Now, with military lockers, this is a second locker that I just purchased. I didn't really need to, but I just wanted to show how I utilize the military locker in a couple of different ways. So the first way is if you have the, if you have an access to a decent backpack, you can you can alter it a little bit. Now, what I mean by that is if you have a look at the gun bag, so the military locker itself has room for seven guns and six pistols. But it also has room for all the equipments that you usually have on your body. So on rearm this particular server, you can put a ghillie hood on an armband here. Uh, you can put, you know, a uh, uh, military helmet. So like that. Maybe not. This one here. Yes, right there. Uh, so this is the face covering, you know, whatever it is that you want to put on there. But what I wanted to show you is uh, there's these slots for clothing. So you've got the vest. So if you wanted to use, if you don't want to store this for an AAC vest, let's say for instance, right? You can have one of those uh, unloading vests that you can get, which is a non-protective vest. So you put an unloading vest in here and you'll come up with a storage, however many storage items you have in an unloading vest and it'll come up here. So with the clothing, so you'll see I've got an M65 jacket and I have pointy storage, so I'll put whatever I need there. Uh, the belt, you can put a smirch vest and it only comes up with a smirch vest, which I'll show you in the next military locker, which is this one here. It's got more interesting stuff in there, but I wanted to show you exactly what I did with this one. So gun bag, for instance. So I keep all my valuables on here. And the reason why is, let's say you wanna log. I'm a solo generally, so I need to protect my belongings in the event of a raid, or get offline or whatever it is. So I'll drag it to my hands and then I'll basically uh, log off with this, right? So I got all my valuables in here and you can see, I just put a scar L in it just to show you exactly what it is. Though it doesn't come up and it's not selectable here, it still stores the gun as part of the gun bag. It's just a feature in the game. That's just how it works. And you can have this fully loaded with everything there, store it, and you've basically got an extra, what's this, uh, six, six uh, storage for, for weapon. So I didn't really need this gun rack, but I just, I like to keep things separated. So, I just use this to, to log off basically for uh, useful items. So double gun rack obviously is pretty cool, pretty nice. You get to see all your guns as well. Uh, but you have the ability to store a lot of guns. So I usually use a double gun rack with, for usable items, low tier, mid tier items. So in the event that you get offline, you know, they'll just basically take whatever guns, right? Anyway, so let's put this one away. And of course you got 50 slots down the bottom here for whatever you want to do as well. So I usually just do miscellaneous items and stuff there. So we'll get to the good stuff, which is in this military locker here. So you will see I have maximized as much as I can. I don't have a raid bag. So 
a raid bag is going to be very useful because if you have a raid bag, you'll you, you have 200 slots. And I just basically put it as, hey, you know what? This is just armor that I can I can put on. Uh, I've got another 6B13 here because it takes up a lot of uh, room. And we've got the Alton here. So what I usually would do, you know, I would swap it out with the Alton, put the gun bag, carry whatever guns that I need, log off, and then at least if in the event that you do get ready to get offline, you have all your best belongings with you, and yeah. So, with this one, I'll show you. Um, we've got all the guns. We've got your AWM, C14, Kavaris, you know, all the all the really uh, spicy, spicy items here. And I can carry pretty much every single one of these guns in my gun bag and log off with it. So I've put a gas mask on this one, uh, just to show you, you know, just obviously we're in Chinaris, uh, gloves, and then the Smirch vest. So you'll see I did the same thing. So we've still got 20 slots. So this is just all sellable items, barter items, Smirch vest. So you see, it doesn't come up with the Smirch butt pack, even though it's got it on there. It only comes up with the vest part because the Smirch butt pack is, you know, an ex it's actually a backpack. It's an extension to the Smirch vest itself. And they got AV tactical pants, that's a rug pack. And the beauty of this as well is that you can actually put ammo boxes. So ammo boxes give you another 20 slots where you can actually sort out all your ammo. So it's my 556, my 545, and then it's my sort of rifle, uh, your 308 and uh, 76254 rounds. Uh, these are pretty much really all the rounds that I use. And then if you've got 338s and 408s and all that, you just add an extra box. And that's how I personally would sort it out. So it's very aesthetically pleasing to the eye. You can just basically see and just, oh yeah, this is exactly what it is. Grab and so on and so forth. And then military, like another 50 slots here at the bottom. Again, miscellaneous items, things that, you know, whatever it is that you want to carry and store. But to give you an idea, like that's just two military lockers that I have and that it's already quite a lot of storage room. Again, like I said, I'm a solo. I can probably move a lot of the other items that's in my military crate you know, over, over to there. But I like using military crates for things like this because, uh, you know, clothing takes up a lot of room. It's actually a two by two. So you want to carry all this, like building materials, just miscellaneous stuff. So yeah, I've got to adjust, I've got to move a lot of these um, rounds over across. It's still a little bit messy. So if you have a look, it's just a lot messy. You got to have a look and you just scan through and just wasting a lot of time on it. So. Uh, this is just a lot, lot more pleasing. You know, you can basically just say, okay, well, 20 slots, you're not gonna carry anything massive on there. This is, you can tell this is all armor. And then once you have all your ammo and everything sorted out, it's going to be pretty, pretty nice. But yeah, so that is how I would maximize military locker. So this is a little uh, one and a half, what is this? What would you call this? Like a one by one and a half base and i'm a solo like i said i don't know if i even if i didn't have a, a double gun rack i probably can do with a military crate for the miscellaneous like health stuff like drinks and food and clothing so really you can do this simply with a one by one so if this military locker was where the gun rack is you could basically have two military lockers a military crate and that is ample amount of room for a solo and you just double that as you have a duo, you have a trio, you have a quad, and yeah, you can have a very efficient storage in your base and manipulate it in a lot of different ways. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Uh, maybe there's something that I didn't know about, leave it in the comments. And if you did learn something new, obviously drop a like, hit sub. I have a Discord channel as well, I'm trying to build up data for the rearmed armory kind of stuff so be sure to join us for that other than that as usual have a great rest of your day great evening and an even better night much love i'll catch you guys in the next video peace